Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. For this one, I'm going to be exploring the limited options of the sketch tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a white background so that you can see the sketch clearly. Then I'm going to select the sketch tool and make sure it's in a different color than the background. Mine is in red as you can see here. And I'm just going to draw some lines here on the canvas. Now, if you wanted to undo these strokes, your first thought would be to click Ctrl Z or the undo button here. But all that does is undo the background that we just created. And that's because the sketch tool has its own undo button. So let me redo this to bring back the sketch. And if we look here in the sketch tool options, we see an undo button. And we are able to undo our sketch by clicking on it. There is no redo option however, so you will have to redraw your sketch. There is also a clear sketch option here, which clears the entire sketch. There is also an option to save the sketch as a file for later use. So with this sketch here, click on this icon. I already have one saved, but you can name the file here, then click save. And if I clear the sketch, I can reopen it by clicking this icon here. Then just click on the file and click on load. One major issue with the sketch tool is that there's no eraser for this tool, which is rather sad, but I'm going to show you a way around, around this. So let's use this sketch as an example. To create the illusion of an eraser, what we can do is change the sketch tool color to the same color as the background and then draw over that section that we want to be erased. In this example, the background color is white. So changing the sketch tool color to white gives us the illusion of an eraser. There's no way to increase the size of the strokes though, so it could be a tedious thing to do. But this is one way to solve that eraser problem. If I hide the background, we can see those white areas. And that's really all there is to the sketch tool. Yeah, okay, Marty.